This information is that you may have the tools to find your happiness and your truth. The following information will touch on the ego and the personality and cover how the conscious and unconscious minds work, interact, or how to identify and understand them. The conscious and the unconscious operate on thoughts, beliefs, knowings, and soul memory. Soul memory is the memory of all of the experience that an individual soul has ever had since it left source. We will start here with the ego. The ego is simply a belief system and in that belief system is the belief that I am separate from source or what some call God. This belief is the core identity of the ego. Without this belief the ego could not exist nor could your personality or what you believe is you exist. The ego personality has a few main beliefs. The main belief, I believe what I believe or what I perceive really exists is the reason for all of your experiences to be or appear real. You create and experience your life through this belief. In this belief is what the ancients meant by life is an illusion. The illusion is that you believe what you think you see and therefore assume it to be real. The second main belief is, I am separate from God, or Source. This belief was accepted by you at some level as a truth when you left the knowingness of the oneness of the Source, or God as some might call it. It is what has created the opportunity for you to create the illusion of life and the experiences you are now having. All human beings have an ego. This ego allows you to have and interpret the experiences that you are currently having. This is not the prideful ego that most people speak of when they mention ego as the expression, he is so egotistical or full of himself. Here we are referring to the basic ego, the foundation the origins of separateness, not about any type of prideful nature. The ego's general nature is to respond to anything that threatens its existence. Its response is often to withdraw or to defend against these threats. The ego is like a small child. It wants what it wants when it wants it. It is demanding manipulative, self-centered, and more. The original intent of the ego was just for the state of separateness, but human beings have forgotten this and have gotten lost in the belief that their ego is who they are. Human beings tend to believe that their ego and personal identity is the source of who they are. This information is to remind you that you are not those things. You are something greater. For more on this subject, please go to our website www.masteringtheartofbeinghuman.com.